This is something I'm never going to forget. And I'm super, super thankful and grateful that I was able to get it done and do it because it was on my bucket list and what I always wanted to do since forever because I hated wearing glasses. It, wearing them from, since third grade kind of sucked. But I was also able to get it done like a month before I turned 21 just because I guess I was close to the date. Or I was also Googling it. You don't have to be 21. I think you have to be between 18, um, 18 and up. But I did when I was like 20, about to be 21. So it was perfect, but I was so thankful that everything worked out. My vision was able to be brought down to 20, 25, which is almost perfect, which is amazing. I love that. Like, you know, like from going from being able to see almost nothing to getting down to 20, 25 is amazing. So I was able to scratch that off my bucket list and get it done. And it's, it's crazy because I don't really do crazy things like that, you know, <laughs> and the surgery, the surgery was a big thing. So I was, I'm happy I was able to get it done. And if you're thinking about it, hopefully this video convinced you to get it done because it turned out really incredible for me and amazing. I'm sure it gets it done for you. And if you're from California and around these areas, you can private message me on Instagram. My Instagram will be down below and I can give you the number to the um, laser eye center where I got done. And you can try and figure it out for yourself and see if it's a good option for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's video. I'm Natalie Giselle, if you didn't know. And some of you might be coming from my vlog channel because I posted a video not too long ago of me getting laser surgery last year for my eyes, LASIK surgery. And I, at the end I said how I'm gonna be posting a more updated and in-depth video. So it's gonna be on my main channel, this one. And if you guys wanna go check that one out before and then come back to this one, the link will be down in the description. If you guys wanna go check it out. But basically what I'm going to be talking about is kind of like how it started and then what happened throughout because I didn't record much in the other video. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Seeing like playing it back and editing and stuff. I didn't really do much. I didn't really record. I should have, but I didn't. To start off, like the very beginning, I'm gonna go like through the whole, like everything that we did. <laughs> we were doing Postmates in the car and I've been talking about to my mom and like my parents and stuff, how I've been wanting to get LASIK done just because I've been wearing glasses since third grade and I was over it and I hated it. And on top of that, um, it did leave me like, um, manchas, how do you say that in English? Like spots? I don't know. Well, like in my face, and makeup doesn't, I don't know how to cover it well. Oh, like right here, these like lines that you can kind of see that connect to my dark circles. I'm pretty sure they are coming from my sunglasses just because like glasses are kind of like a magnifying glass to the sun. So I kind of, I guess, burnt my face. I don't know. But, um, so I've been wearing glasses since third grade and when I learned about LASIK um, which was maybe like in high school sometime in high school I was always saying how when I turn 21 I'm gonna get it like I don't care I don't want glasses no more and um I haven't turned 21 yet it was I think we we're talking about it in July like um when school when work was out like school because I work out of school so like when school was out um we were doing postmates in a car and we heard this commercial and my mom's like oh my gosh I trust this lady like she's always doing good things. Like she's always like telling the truth about what she thinks. So we got the number down and we ended up calling and we didn't like, we were just like, it just like kind of happened in the moment. And then we called and we made an appointment and the appointment was like two, three days later, like on a Wednesday or a Thursday. And then we went in for my consultation on my eyes to see if I um, qualified for laser surgery. And this place was in Riverside. It was. Or, um, I don't think I have a number, but the place is called Laser Eye Center. And um, so we call, we do my consultation. I went in, they did like my, they had me take my glasses off and then they did the eye test to see like, if I could see the letters, you know, when they put the machine here and then they go one or two, this one or that one. So we did that. And then after that, they dilated my eyes with some like solution thingy and I didn't feel anything at all because I guess I, I went numb um, and 
I guess they dilated my pupil with that solution or something. I don't know. And my dad said they were like putting things on my eye and like touching it and moving it around. And I guess I was to see the thickness of my um, cornea, my pupil, something I forgot to see if I can actually qualify for laser because um, you can, you have, your eyes have to be a certain way to be able to qualify to get LASIK surgery. And I qualified, so we did that. Um, so we did that and after that, my eyes were dilated for a couple more hours. And so I couldn't really see much. It was kind of blurry and then everything was like bright. So I had to be wearing these glasses, these big glasses. And then, oh, and then in there, they showed us a video on how LASIK works. So they show us the whole process of them doing LASIK to like the patient and then, um, and then they were explaining like the whole process to us and then right there they tell you about the payments which is how i got this folder we, oh we also had called because they said they were having a a special so we we're like yes like a special like make it cheaper please and so apparently my whole process was gonna be seven thousand five hundred and ninety dollars and then with all the specials that were happening We got it down to 1,500, I believe, right? Oh wait, hold on. No, just kidding. We got it down to 2,500. And then my monthly payments are $150, which is amazing. Not bad at all. So from 7,590, we got it down to 2,500 $2, with only $150 monthly payments, which is amazing. The whole consultation thing was in Riverside. And then the actual place I was gonna get was in Ontario. No, 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 wait. Yeah, so I was in Riverside the consultation. And then they have different locations to get this thing done. But we went to the one that was in Ontario. We went to the one that was in Ontario to get it done. And the doctors there and the nurses and everybody, they were amazing and super sweet. It was a, honestly, it was a great experience because if we saw that they were treating people bad or like, you know, it wasn't like a good environment. I wouldn't have done it, but I went for it because everybody there seemed really nice and they knew what they were doing. So I would stay there. So then we made an appointment there. I don't know. I feel like we might have made a couple appointments before getting it done. Pretty sure because when I went in, they did the whole process that they did at the Riverside um, consultation place. I checked my eyes, they did everything. Um, the same they checked my eyes they did the test they do the air if I could see the letters and all that stuff and then um, Let's just I don't know if it was the same day or not, but let's just say a couple days later. I guess um, They I went back and this time it was to get my eyes done. Maybe it was the whole thing Okay, but July 27 24 to 27 I believe was when around those dates was when I got my LASIK actually done. So when we went, they did all the tests and then then they took me to like this room in the back to see to see like the depth of my eye and like the thickness of things and to see what my vision can be that they can get it down to. I wonder if I have the paperwork of how bad my eyes were. Oh they give you like all this information too about the whole LASIK process and if it's safe and then LASIK versus blades. Oh, so my total, just kidding. My total was 3,500, but I put a thousand dollars down. So then that left me with 2,500. And then that's when I start paying everything else for $150. But after my surgery, they gave me these glasses. After, just kidding. After, where was it? I know after my consultation, they gave me these glasses. Oh my gosh. They gave me these to block out the sun. Wait. But I used regular glasses. Because I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want these. Okay, so I was saying. So they went, they took me to a back room to check my my eyes and like the thickness of everything and what they could get my vision down to. And my vision was pretty bad. I couldn't being honest, like being this far from my phone, from my phone camera, I couldn't see my face. That's how bad it was. My vision was pretty bad. I, I don't know. Doing all that, they told me that they were able to get my vision down to 2025. 20, so be, basically being able to see nothing to get it down to 2025, 20, I was like, yes, like that's fine. Like, 
I know it's not perfect, but maybe in the future it could be. So I was so happy with that. And then so they took me after that room, they had me go back to the waiting room to fill out a bunch of paperwork, with, which honestly is probably the longest part of this whole process was the paperwork. Super long just because they have to go like in depth of everything that can happen or that will happen or that could happen. So it's like scary, like really scary. Rina was like, like, am I taking a risk here? Like, should I do it? Like it has you questioning. Like everything that's in the papers has you questioning. Should I be getting laser done? Because of everything that's saying, like, you know, like it's just like a bunch of what ifs, but it's like what ifs, like, in, like what's the chance? They've had a bunch of patients, a bunch of patients that like, you know, what are the odds that it's gonna happen to me? So I just went for it and I did it. And so after all that paperwork, they take me to a back room and then they um, they explain the process of like what's gonna happen in there and like, you know, how quick it's gonna be and what you have to do. And so they have you sitting in like a little area with another patient. And they put your hair back in this cap, in the cap so it doesn't get in the way when you're doing this. And then they give you this baggie before you enter. This baggie, it's laser eye center. I kept it for this video <laughs> a year later. Um, and in there, they, uh, well, they don't give you everything. They give you, wow, it's raining. There we go. So they give you this paper and it looks like this. It's not all folded up and gross looking. But it says laser eye center and then it tells you the drops you're gonna need which i think i said in the last one where i'm like this this and this one's at the pharmacy so i did that one and then they tell you exactly what to do so the drops i need are artificial tears with okay so yeah okay so in the bag they give you this it wasn't awful they gave it to me in my hands but i folded it up they give you this with what you're gonna need and then they give you this, which is like tape, kind of. Like, it's like weird, like that type of tape. Yeah, not normal tape. And then they give you these. They're not connected. I connected them with tape. They give you these. And you put, you have to put them on your eyes like this. For, it's for the first day, they put this on your eyes after the surgery. And for the first day, you have to have this on. And basically, I think if you go out for like the first week, you have to have this on and your eyes for the first day after surgery they have to be closed with this on top and with sunglasses on top just because it's going to be super bright and your eyes are going to be sensitive so they tell you all that information there and then they take you into a room that's like right there like right next door and they lay you down on this table and when they lay you down it's like the whole machine the whole room is dark and like there's like a the machines are like blue and then basically the only color that's coming out of the machine is the machines and the mon the screen monitors. And they lay you down and then they, they tell you to open your eyes. They put drops, which I hate. So I'm like, like, you know, I'm like moving my face and doing all of that. And so they put the drops in that to numb your eye, your eye so you don't feel anything. And then um, the doctor, he goes in like with this like scope, but not a scope. What am I saying? He goes, I don't know if it's like a stick or what, but like he like touches around your eyes, but like, he puts it like down there and then like like up there you know like up there under your eyelid <laughs> and he like does that and if you feel like something he'll add you'll be like it's okay it's okay i'll add more drops like so like so nice and like you feel like safe like under his care and like all the other nurses cares you feel safe and then so he puts the drops in and then after that i think he puts them in both eyes just to double check that they're both good after that um he I know he put like these like metal things to keep my eye open from blinking. Like your eye doesn't even feel like it's dry out or that you need a blink because it's numb. You're not feeling anything, right? And then, um, so he puts the metal thing in and keeps your eye open for the machine. And then you're like laying back like this. And then the machine, you, um, and then after, just kidding. After, after the, the metal things to keep your eye open, he puts like this circle thing and it's like a suction cup for your, like, right, like your eyeball, like your actual, like, dark part of your eye well the dark parts of my eyes i don't know what color your eyes are um and <laughs> so he puts it and um he like suction he presses down which probably is painful for but it doesn't even hurt because it's just pressure like it's pressure 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 kind of like if you're um 
like I'm pretty sure a lot of people tried to get the Kylie Jenner lips with like the 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 shot glass for like the duck lips and you know how like you're sucking and it's pressure and pressure well it's kind of like that but like on the eye and it's so much pressure that your eye goes black or like if you're rubbing it and your eye goes black like the pressure from rubbing it well everything went black when he put the pressure suction cup on my eye and then from there you can't really see anything out of this eye and then this one's closed you have to have this one closed while this is going on or do they cover it something i don't know and so as this one is um like suctioned ah uh, like su suction down suction closed i don't know your vision's black and as that that's going you can you can kind of hear the laser go off because they're, they're talking about it and if you move the slightest or whatever the laser stops and then i think they have to do the whole process over or like some something like that so it's kind of hard to continue and get back to where you left off so that you have to try your best to stay still while laying down but it's not hard because it's really quick and then so the laser goes in and then it cuts off like the top layer of your eye so they can like scrape it to the side and then they do it to this one too the same thing suction it off so the drops the thing the metal to open your eye the suction and then the laser takes out the first flat layer not completely off like so they can move to the side and then they have you stand up like open your eyes so you can trip over stuff and um you can kind of see but it's like it's like blurry like it's like it's really blurry like if you're underwater and you open your eyes on accident um it's like that and then they move you to another like little table that's like five feet away sort of and then they lay you down right there and then that right there is I can't really remember that part but they lay you down they have you open your eye and i think you're the one that's holding your eye open unless they put the, the metal thing back in your eye and that's where they're tr they're fixing everything in your eyeball unless they do it on the other one that was really quick they fix everything in your eye and then they close the flap and then they're like checking everything that it's sealed in closed correctly and honestly that process is probably one minute to like three minutes long not that long at all um so that that was it and then after they take me after that's done they take me into a little area and <clears throat> they have me sitting there and then the next the um the other patient that was there after me they had him do it and it was really quick because i wasn't sitting there long so the process was a minute to three minutes and then they have us sitting there and then he the doctor he's checking my eyes and seeing how everything like closed and healed correctly like under more close care and everything was fine and then so they, that's when they explain the paper again and how everything's gonna work and how we have to go get it done. But like, and then after that, they take, they walk me to my room, to the waiting room, to my family, and then that was basically it. And then so we went to go get um, these drops, which was, um, so I needed artificial cheers, and then it's Drizzle or Predfort, and then Vigamox. So like I needed these and then um so the artificial tears I just got them like at a CVS or like a uh, you know like a place like that and they come in these little tubes it's a pack it's a pack of 30 and each one you can I mean it's a lot it's kind of like filled to a good amount so you have to put two drops in each eye for this one these drops I had to use them every day until I was completely done with them or until the doctor said I didn't need them anymore because my eyes were fine. So I used this and um, this was the, one of the ones I needed, I don't know the name. This one was for the swelling. So in case my eyes like swelled up, which they didn't, thank goodness. This one was the, I don't even know. So I used this one for swelling. Yeah, this one. It was another bottle like this. I think this one was the milky one. It looked like milky, gross. And then, oh no, this was the, no, this wasn't the milky one. And then I used this one for infection in case I got an infection, which I didn't, thank goodness. No infection at all. And it was this one. It was like this. And like the drops were like yellow looking. And um, so, I forgot which ones were which, but the drops were every hour, like no matter what. In case my eyes got dry, I needed to be putting drops every hour. I'm sure this milky one, I think it was this milky one. I had to, I want one drop. 
okay this one i guess i have to do one drop every three hours this one and then this one was three times a day so i kind of had to time them out or whatever the doctor told me so what i did was so what i did right here was this one says infection tears inflammation every three hours every one hour and then every two hours because that's what the doctor had told me and then over here he said every three hours like to spread it out every four hours and this one just kept doing every one hour and like i have a bunch like i time them up because you want to keep you want to keep track of it and know that you're doing like what you're supposed to so your eyes can heal and be um you know healthy and so what happened was that basically for three weeks three to i don't i want to say three weeks but for three four three to eight weeks let's just say that to be safe i couldn't um i couldn't let the air drastically hit my face like it couldn't hit my face like really quick like so i couldn't have my windows down because the air or like the vents in my um in my car i couldn't have the air facing me they had to be facing other ways so it wouldn't like bounce back to my eyes and then i couldn't go to um to the beach like to get in the water for like the time that my eyes were healing because you know it could get in my eyes and get an infection because my eyes were still open and so basically they said to wait to completely completely heal my clothes off i think was eight months six months let's say six months to a year it's about to be a year so my eyes i know for sure are um are fully healed now because i got this in july but it was kind of just a lot of restrictions just to keep your eyes safe so after the surgery my eyes did have a little bit of bruising which was like red marks around my eye which was basically from the suction it wasn't really much of anything else and then um after the surgery you had to go in um i think daily after the surgery so they can check your eyes and the healing process and how well you were being able to see and they they said like um they said there would be days where my vision would be kind of blurry where it's like like i couldn't really um see as clearly as i wanted to just because my eyes were like healing and getting used to the whole idea so i was like fine but i noticed that my eyes were only blurry in the mornings like an hour or two in the morning but not like crazy blurry where i couldn't see it was just like blurry like like i don't it wasn't crazy blurry just to say um i was still able to see pretty far with even if it was blurry and so they'd have me go in the mornings which is kind of terrible because then it's like are your eyes not working because they had to do the um the letter thing to see if you can read the letters or the numbers it was kind of hard because my vision was blurry in the mornings but it was okay because it got done they were like wow your eyes are doing a lot better now this and that so we went in daily and then um, they were checking how I was doing with my drops and how my eyes were looking like if I had infection or swelling They were going into depth with everything and my eyes didn't get swelling or swelled, swelled up and So I had no swelling no infection And then my eyes and a lot of people say they get like dry eyes and their eyes are super dry after surgery But so they said like if you need to buy oops, Just to keep buying tears But I think I only bought two boxes I just used that so I never really needed more but the whole process, this paper tells you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, I cannot believe I forgot to mention this. So, after surgery, for the whole time your eyes are healing, so you don't like smack yourself in the eye or do anything, you have to have to sleep with these on. So, you put these on like this. And then with this tape, I was just putting a piece here, a piece up here, here, and here. That way, I um, wouldn't smack myself in the eyes. And another thing, you and another thing, you couldn't sleep on your side or on your stomach or like on your underside or whatever because I guess it put pressure on your eyes. So you have to sleep on your back like this the whole time, the whole night, no moving or anything. That was really hard for me because I always sleep on my side or my stomach. Like, I just that's how I sleep. I cannot sleep on my back, it's so uncomfortable for me. So that's how I saw so that's how I was for like the whole time my eyes were um my eyes were like in the healing process for those weeks, which is gruesome for me just because I couldn't sleep on my side or stomach. So you need those on. And then oh after surgery, you couldn't sleep for five hours after it. So you can't watch TV, you can't get on your phone, you can't read, you can't go out into the sun, like no, nothing like that for the five hours after your surgery. And then you cannot touch your eyes or rub them either. No, no, no. 
and then yeah and then the air no air sleeping on your back and then those they call them windshields wear sh wear shields and so you needed to have those on and then oh i couldn't wear makeup for two weeks i couldn't wear makeup which was good because i wasn't going to work so i was fine but on my last day which was on my birthday i had to go to a work um a work breakfast breakfast work work breakfast thing and i couldn't wear makeup there so imagine i was so embarrassed but um so that was that so two weeks no makeup at all and then um washing my face was tough because no water is allowed to touch your eyes at all so like when you're showering whatever everything has to be done with your eyes closed or you can wear the shields or glasses that are going to cover your eyes completely so i had to have my eyes closed and washing my face i had to go like this like very carefully not to get it in my eyes and you can't exercise for three days following the surgery um and it has to be very light light exercise two weeks after the surgery because of all the pressure and jumping your eyes are sensitive and like doing all that can really you know mess with it and then after i still am like when i'm doing my makeup because i usually like go in <laughs> on my eyes with concealer like hard but now I look up when I'm doing this and then when my eyes are closed, I look down. That way I can do my top part of my concealer. So that is that. I did consultation. I went into the actual eye consultation or side actual doctor place where it was going to happen in Ontario. Mills, Ontario Mills, California, or if you live in California. And then that's also where I got my surgery done. And then I couldn't do so like no error. Like and stuff so i was like is it okay if i go to him i think we didn't go just to be safe but when we did go i have my eyes closed or my sunglasses on the whole time that way the air wouldn't be too harsh on me and then i also had, took my tears in case something did get in my eye and i needed to like get it out and the tears you can't touch your eyes so you need the tears to be able to take it out and i just took those but i was completely fine also i haven't gone to the beach i went to the beach for my birthday when i turned 21 but i wasn't allowed to like fully get in the water so i kind of just got my legs wet which was fine didn't mind it um and we did that so consultation ontario for the surgery and then the following day is just a bunch of checkups like every day every day until basically they start spreading it out until you don't need it no more so which was awesome and then um no makeup for two weeks sleep upright um uh, eye shields for when you sleep I think, I think that was it. It was a bunch of build-up. If you guys want to see, like, little pieces of what happened in between me talking, you guys can go check my vlog channel, because that is up. I'll put the link in my bio. Thank you guys so much for checking this video out. I will see you guys in my next one.